previously on A Family Business. Thank y'all so much. This crowd is crazy. Make some noise, y'all. That was happy. It meant everything to me that my dad was there, but the only thing I wish my mom was there. This project is about you. When it comes to being in that studio, you got to be focused. Play time got to be over. I got to close the door, yo. What is going on? Close the door. Call the security. I want them out. Mama, that wasn't. No, it was. She, he said, no, he's nice, sitting there, and but just you don't do all of this. Go that far. My head. I did. But well, then, but that's deal with that, Brittany. Don't tell me what I should do. I'm done and I'm out. So, my mom didn't show up to my performance last night, and she's mad at me. Why the hell she ain't mad at you? Because it wasn't my fault. This is favoritism. This has been happening since Ray was born. We are committed to this family business, so the person you need to talk to that's bailing on the business is upstairs, Ray. Raised in the spotlight. Been doing this since we were young. Been around the world twice. Wasn't easy, but it was fun. The fight, the love, the comedy. The comedy. Yeah, you got something better? Yeah, a Grammy. Fran, Ray, cut the crap. We should lose the fights. This family's about love. Don't be asking no, we keeping the fights. Let's try it again. The fights, the love. Just the person. <laughs> RJ. Just the person I need to talk to. So Rodney Jerkins is producing my next joint, so he just told me to come down to the studio. Before we really get started on the album, we just got a couple of things we got to work out contractually. And then, boom! I need to talk to you because there's a couple little things. When I'm talking to people, they be like, what you boys out? Yo, we about to make a classic on radio. The first thing that comes out of most people, is he focused? Yeah. Is he, because, you know, Ray, he will be wilding out. You got a name out here hard, son, nah, that you wild out, I like I'm hard. trying to, I know, and, I'm, and I want to get away from that. We're going to bat for you, 200%, and we expect it back. You come to the studio, and you give me a, a focused eight hours in the studio. Mm -hmm. But when you leave the studio, it's back to wilding out. Yeah. It's back to going to the clubs to 4 o'clock in the morning. It's yeah. back to doing all that. Yeah. I don't want that. So when people invite you, you got to be like, listen, I can't do it right now. Now is not the time for me. Right. It's simple as that. And I know there's temptations out there, and, it's, and, and the devil's always lurking and wanting Ragey to come here and do this, do that, and do that. But at the same time, you're making a record, and you're trying to, and we're trying to take this to a whole different level. And I, and I, I would never come into this project knowing how you work and then disrespect. You know what I'm saying? What we got going on? Like I already know what's up with you. Besides just the spiritual aspect of it, just the professional aspect of it, like I'm on it. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that. It's 100%, you know what I mean? All right, they focus. I'm super focused. All right. Beyond. You know what, Rodney Jerkins is real serious, and I can see that. And he's laying out a whole new game plan for us, and I'm gonna respect that, and I'm gonna follow his lead. All right, good. I'm glad, though, that's a good meet, man. Good stuff. It's a great meet. Good stuff. After talking to Rodney, I really needed to go talk to B. How you doing, good, man? All right, how you doing? Hey, Ray. All right, what's up, B? She was upset with my mom, and not only was she upset with moms, she was upset with me. And so I really got to get to the bottom of it and see what this is really about. <sighs> Brother. What's up? You doing good? Because last night you was real emotional and you was taking shots at me. What you know do you what mean? mean? Like, what was I saying as far as taking shots with you? You was just saying that you, I don't get, you know, reprimanded and it's all your fault and you did it and why am I getting, you know, the backlash I of said it? that it was all your fault. I think you were insinuating it to be like, yo, Ray, y'all the ones messed up. Why am me and Pops the ones that's in the argument? You know what I'm talking about as far as favoritism. You don't get the, the lash out the way I do. You don't get the, the negative attitude at times the way I do. For mom to kind of like be mad at me and dad and not ever have any type of anger towards you and then give the impression that she's about to bounce on the family business, that, that affects me. I'm not mad at Ray about how my mom flies off the handle. Like it's not his fault. But I do need him to understand that he is involved in this. He can't just ignore what happened. 
And my thing is, I'm just saying, I'm tired of you saying it's about favoritism when at the end of the day, if that was the case, then all the favoritism would be on you, not me. Why? Why? Why not? I was the one in Carson. You was the one with mom out on the road doing it. I was only 12 years old getting into trouble. I didn't see my mom at the time. Brandy was with my mom. So I don't understand what is she talking about when she say it's about favoritism. That don't make no sense to me. That was a big step in my life to have to go on tour, to have to be be an adult so quick at 15 years and old. I, I needed that. I needed her to and be need there with me to make sure I was straight. Mom didn't leave you in Carson alone. Like no, you had I pops there with you. I'm talking about affection. I'm talking about communication. That's what I mean in terms of favoritism. I hear what you're saying, B. I do have a different dynamic with mom. I think I understand mom a little bit more than a lot of other people. I'm not saying I'm the golden child. Pretty much. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is a hat, you know, the little. I'm not saying that. My mom and my sister has had this love-hate relationship for over 15 years now. I've been around, I've seen it. The only two people that can change this is Brandy and my mom. And I know they can. They just need to sit down and hash everything out. Look, this is what you should do. Just go to moms and, you know, just, just tell her, like, you know, let's try to understand each other. My thing is I just want everybody to be on the same page. That's the most important thing. But as far as getting this whole thing back together, I mean, that's a given. Like, we got to do that. Well, I mean, I appreciate your advice about mom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely, you know, go talk to her and, and listen more than I talk, you know what I mean? And, and watch the way I respond, and I, I appreciate that. I don't agree with Ray on the favoritism issue because I know that I'm right about the way I feel. He is right about one thing, though. I, I do need to talk to my mom about it and get some things off of my chest and try to work it out the best way I can. Hey, Mom. Hey, boo. You never play the piano. Yes, I do sometimes. You just don't be here. You want to play something for me right quick? No, I think we should talk. I know. Where can we go talk? I want to sit right here. OK. I am happy that Brandy decided to come over. I've been meaning to talk about what happened in the office with the stripper. It's important for us to talk this through so that she can understand why I reacted the way I did. I'm glad you came over. You know, it's really important because after that was over and done, it seemed as though I was sort of like the only one that was left out there. What happened? With all of the, with the this, this stripper coming into the office. Oh. No. No, I think your reaction to it was very appropriate. I mean, it was very disrespectful for them to bring a stripper into the workplace, you know, and it's like, that wasn't a good look. What I didn't understand was that to leaving the business, and I don't want to be a part of this anymore. It, it's that reaction I don't get. If you can just bounce anytime you want to, that's not cool to me. It feels like it's a threat. Well, that's how you perceive it. That's how you perceive but it. Why do, why do you do that? Like, let, me, let me explain something. There's, I don't believe that at that moment there is nothing that I would take back because you provoked me in a workplace. But this is not coming from everybody. This but is coming from Ray J's side of the fence. These are Ray J's friends. Mm -hmm. This is Ray J's lifestyle. It's happening in Ray J's office. This has nothing to do with me. The so when you, the... when you bail out on whatever happened with the Ray situation, you're bailing out on all of us. And all of us don't have anything to do with it. Well, I didn't have anything That's, to do with that. No, but and you're right. It's management's job to guide and to help the artist make the best decision. But if you get tired of that, and if you don't like that, and then you say, well, I'm done with it every other five minutes, then it puts it puts the artist on edge. No, it puts you on edge. Well, it puts you on edge. It puts me on okay. edge. And say I, that. I don't go through certain things. I, I don't. You when don't before, go through this with Ray. Right. You know, after a while, you get tired of it, Brandy. Uh, it, managers get tired, too. It just seems like you'll get tired whenever you get tired, and then you just, you just, you know, you just go, I'm done. I do like, I'm I do done it, but that. then you come back. That it's a happens, roller coaster. That, that happens with you. That does not happen in all situations. Because the when other we, situation because is when we, Ray. To me, there is favoritism, and it's always been that way. 
it hurts me because I don't understand it. And what hurts even more is that she doesn't admit it. When we get in an argument, it never remains in a business box. It never stays in a business box. Never, ever, ever. Because I believe some things that are done is because you're my mom. Sometimes you come off like, I work for you. That's how I felt as a kid. That's growing see up. How, I see, felt that's, like, see how you but, jump out of the box of business no, saying, over there? No, 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 that no. That has nothing as, to do with what's a, in the box but, of business. As, stay there. But I am staying there. Okay, stay 15 right there. years old is when I started professionally. Yeah. So when I say as a kid, I'm speaking about business as well. When it when it comes to business, it is about my life. Brandy has a period in her time as a child that she still has an issue with, and she wants to express that and wants me to recognize that, and also wants me to agree with her. And that, that right there may be a problem. You're right, I need to look at what my responsibilities are and accept those responsibilities. I agree with you on that. But you try to make it seem like it's all me. That's not fair. This is what doesn't make the business fun. Like you said, this is, this is a classic Sonya line. It's, y'all don't tell me what to do. You don't. I don't work for you, I work with you. Right, that, that is a classic That right there value. makes me feel belittled. I don't want you to snap at me or, or belittle me in the fact that we're trying to do business. When you come at me sideways, just because you can, I'm, I'm gonna respond to that differently you than Ray You come sideways a lot too, Brandy. Sometimes you are as chilly as an iceberg. I'm going to get water, you want some? No, I don't, I don't oh, want any water. You can come to the kitchen, but I got I don't. I don't even want to go come to the kitchen. OK, well, I'll be right back. Stay right there. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Chili as an iceberg? It's not even in my character, dude. Just gets to a point where I don't, I don't know how to talk to her anymore. What a great therapy of a conversation. I'm very frustrated how things can get between us sometimes. I'm very frustrated of where we start off and then where we end up. I do believe that something has to change. The only person in the world that can't see me, dude. Coming up, you know, everything is always my fault. And when it's that type of communication, two people can't get anywhere. I really need to talk through this, and I wish my mom was the person I could do that with. Is it that time to finally separate? I don't know. And later. Come on, come to the VIP. Let's go. I know I'm supposed to get back to LA, but the club promoter asked me to hang out for a while by the pool. And I'm getting paid. Hello, Uncle Sam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The problem that we have is all about mother and daughter, Brandy. OK. I am me. That is that. for real. And I'm not going to change. I will alter, but I, but I can't change that much. When I came over here, I wanted to talk to my mom about the problems that we were having. And now we're just talking about a whole bunch of more problems that we've already faced. We're not fixing anything. We're just making each other mad. So, But I'm the fine. first person of contact for you. Anything goes wrong, you call me. Mm -hmm. Anybody that says something, you call me. Anything that goes on wrong with Sarah, you, you call me. If you get over here and you can't do that, you call me. So something has got to be right about me. You have enjoyed the negotiations that I've done, the talent that you brought to the table, and I, and I work with you on that talent to where you have enjoyed that. You can't hold something against me because of you and I back in the day, but you do. And what you want me to do is take responsibility. This is too much. Every time we fight, it just goes to places that I don't, I don't even want to go. I didn't even know these places existed. The point is, is that I will free you from me. You are already free from me. You left me long time ago. This time, I will free you from me. What does that mean? That means that I will be there for you when you need me. And I will not interfere with the things that are going on in your life. Clearly, you don't get it. So I, I just, I want to You go. can't see anybody but yourself. You need to just look at what other people see. I'm going to look at myself. OK. And, and let me just let me just look at let me stare at myself for a minute. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna That's do that. Fair. And you know. That's fair. It's whatever, dude. But I'm gonna be there for you regardless. That doesn't change. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later.
Rodney made it clear to me that he doesn't want me partying. Cool. I'm gonna go to the office then and just chill and get some work done. Where's my computer? Ray. What up? Yo, what up, man? Gotta get you to sign these papers, man. I got you. This Thursday, what Friday. This is for all tax stuff. This is just, it's just unbelievable, man. There's nothing to do in here. There's nothing else to do in this office right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I need to be here? You don't want to be here? I mean, I work in the field. I'm not behind the desk. I'm the only one that really knows how to play around and do it right. So I feel like I'm doing what I'm doing. No disrespect to Rodney, but I'm in the office and I feel like my office is in the club right now because that's where the money is at. I got to get to the real office. I'm not about to be up in here talking about how to make more money. I got to get money every day. Like, people think I'm money hungry. It ain't about being money hungry. It's just about not being broke. You know what I'm saying? If five people need money and they need somebody to lend it to them, who they going to come to? They going to come to me because they know I got all the cash they need. That's why I be like, you know what? If it's not going to happen, I'm going to stay in the streets and stay getting money because that's survival money. That's money to survive. That's money you can go out and buy a computer with, go out and buy a car, fill your tank up, whatever, go spend a little bit on your wife. Whatever you need to do, we got cash money. People don't want us to make the cash, then what we gonna make, man? Bottom line, my office is VIP. This is a business, this is what I do. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna go get some money. Yo, let's go to Vegas. Lady, you okay? Yeah. I just wanted to, uh, I feel so funny talking about it here. I really need to talk through this. I need to vent. I wish my mom was the person I could do that with. But I do know Shay is a great listener, and I know I'm going to be able to get everything off with talking to her. Everything is pretty much my fault. You know, everything is always my fault. You know, and when it's that type of communication, two people can't get anywhere. And it just feels very uncomfortable because I don't feel like I'm understood or I'm heard. It's becoming toxic for you, Brian. Yeah. Like, I have to hear everything from her and hear everything that she feels and receive everything that she feels. And it's just, you know, I don't, I don't like the way that makes me feel. That's a tough one, Brian. When I go back and I look at the different dynamics of Brandy and Ray. I spend a lot of time with Brandy, on, you know, on Brandy and just being there for her. I don't think that she's trying to inflict pain. It's just, it's just right at that moment. She can't always think she's right. You know what I'm saying? She but has she to always think to... that I shouldn't think that I'm always right either, which I'm not always right. I guess it's in both directions. It's the way you come at each other. Exactly. You know, you really don't even deal with the issue. Yeah. You don't no, deal with the issue at all because it's, it becomes you very emotional. And you going way back of something you did years ago. You know, there are a lot of mother daughters go through what Brandon and I go through. And yet you still love each other, but you just go through it. Nobody really knows why. Some things you just got to suck up and say, is it worth the fight? Yeah. Because you're going to come back sooner or later. Yeah. like nothing's ever happened. And then her apology to me is just being nice to me the next day. Right. That's not an apology. As much as you want it to be, you can't make your mom be who you want her to be. And it hurts and it sucks. It hurts because I need her to be supportive and to embrace my feelings. Don't shun my feelings off. She's been doing that for years. Do you think she'll ever change? Never. She can alter but she won't change. What I see is that two people that have a completely different vantage point, you're expressing your emotions in a way that you feel this way. Your mom doesn't see it that way. But the thing is, is to never feel like somebody is proud of me. But is it that time to finally 
separate. I don't know. Coming up. I know I'm supposed to be working on the album to rock, but I ain't making no money sitting home. And later. Here we go. It's a celebration. Ba, 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 you sweating? Drinking water? You working out right now, right? <laughs> What it look like? I'm eight bars in. That's it? I don't want to blow this album, but Rodney, I can see it in his eyes. He wasn't feeling it. I know I'm supposed to be in LA working on the album with Rodney, but I ain't making no money sitting home. So I'm at Jet right now in Vegas because I got to get paid. Yo, people come out to see me because they know that I'm the West Coast party king and the night is gonna be unforgettable. I can't let them down. This is how I make my money. Partying, networking, making sure the club pops. It's a tough job, I know. But somebody's gotta do it. My work in Vegas is done, baby. But tonight ain't over yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm out. I know I'm supposed to get back to LA because my mom got these internet meetings she wants me to attend, but the club promoter asked me to hang out for a while by the pool, and I'm getting paid. Hello, Uncle Sam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We in. What's up, mama? We in, baby. I'm trying to turn this out. Turn it out. Turn it out. Why don't y'all come up there with us? All of y'all come have fun. Up in the VIP. Come on, come to the VIP. Let's go. Yeah. I want to get a shot, too. What's up? How y'all doing? Hi, Johnny. Give me what? On the drink? Uh -huh. The last thing. Oh, that's a lot of hot shit. Aw, thank you so no much. Yeah. 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 Now I'm really gonna be late to this meeting with Sonya. But I'm not worried about that because I know my mom has my back. So the first thing that we want to talk about is what? I know that Rachel wanted to do maybe a clothing line, um, maybe a jewelry line, things like that. You know, the way the market's going, all the artists are becoming a brand these days. So I wanted to find out how I can help you build that brand. Today, Ray was supposed to meet me for a meeting with the web developers. But obviously, that's a problem because Ray J is late. We go off of statistics. You know, how many people actually open up their emails? Mm -hmm. Ray J comes out with a new single. We need to blast it out there. Mm -hmm. And we can tell if it's hitting in Europe, we can tell if it's hitting in Africa, mm -hmm. we can tell. Yeah. And right now, what they think of Ray J is, he's a household name. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. But where's the product backing it? Exactly. I am bothered when Ray is late. This is about professionalism. This is about reputation. I don't think it's good business for anybody to be late. First and foremost, we need to get your contacts up. You know, I noticed on your Facebook, you had 20,000 fans. You know, I got 20,000 fans. Okay. And also, as far as the graphic design of it, you guys can do all of that. So basically, you guys are all in-house. Yeah, and everything. Creating. Okay. Well, we appreciate it. It's nice Thank you, you guys man, to come for in. coming Thank through. You. Thank it's you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Blessings. And I know in Hollywood, everything is about being fashionably late. But I just felt like Ray should have been bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and in here on time. Ray. Huh? You've been going around here talking about you the CEO of the company. If you the CEO of the company, you can't have your people sitting at the table and the CEO chairs empty because you're late. No, I Bottom understand. line, right? You just don't need to be late. I understand, but the president's supposed to have my back. I do have your back. You you still out there partying? You still out there, you know, yeah. slam dunking? You still out there smashing the homies? That's not a good term. You? No. 
looking for and not smashing the homies. Please. I mean, not you smashing that kind of stuff, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? I mean, because, Learn you know, how to use the term. Well. Like, don't use the term at all, Sonya. That's not for you to use. That term is not, it's a little bit above your head. OK, well, I won't do that, but you got my point. The point is, is that it's now time for you to do what I've always wanted you I'm, to do. Right? I'm, listen, Sonia, I've been doing what Ray, you wanted me to do. take your glasses off while you're talking to me, please. I'm doing no, something. I'm, I want you to take your glasses off while you're talking to me, OK? Because I have to look at you in the eye, and I have to get you to understand how serious this is for me. No, I know, but what I'm trying to tell you is that when I'm wearing these shades and these meetings and when I'm walking in places, I'm setting trends. You know what I'm saying? So I understand I'm setting that. trends, Sonia. But what I'm saying to you is, ever since you were little, come on, Sonia. I, I've been pushing you to, to be the man that I know no, you are. You know I'm doing that. I'm mm -hmm. running this business. I'm I'm running the show. Just because I'm not taking business meetings right away doesn't mean the business meetings aren't being taken, and it doesn't mean I'm not serious about it. My hours are different from other people's hours. That's just what it is. I'm on it, but I can't always be around and always be in the round tables and all of that because I do got to be out at the parties. I do got to be out in the scene and blah, blah, how I bring back more opportunities. But I do have it. I'm just saying it's important. That's all. I just, I, I de I'm depending on you to take over the business. Right. You got it. Don't okay. worry. Love you. And another thing, too, just, you know, with the decor when we come into the office, you know. What? My pants? The all right. Lord have mercy. Coming up. Rage. What up, boy? Today is my first day of recording with Rodney. I'm excited. I'm ready to go in. Here we go. And every time my hands go up. I got to understand that. And every time my hands. And later. Now, Rage talks to me the same way he talked to you. That's right. And Brandy talks to me the way she wants to talk to you. Really? Yeah. Sometimes I wish things could be a lot better between Brandy and I. Something has to change. Over the pool, straight up, baby. There he is. Coming through all the way. Hey, Dad. Hey, Brand. Love your cow. Thank you. Got it, got it from you. What's Your stunts. Nice. What's up? I need some fatherly advice. Well, you know you got it, babe. Come on, Can let's go. Can we sit down? Yeah. yeah. Even though I talk to Shay about everything, I still don't feel good about where my mom and I are. My dad has always been good about giving words of encouragement. He's been married to my mom for about 35 years, so if anybody knows how to handle her in different ways, he does. It's about me and mom. Well, I mean, we can't keep going this way. It can't keep going into, you know, huge arguments. And yeah. oh, I just need some advice on how do I go about? Because yeah, right, I can right, only right. I can only work on me, and I can only be responsible for me. That's good. You said something very, very important. You can work on you, mm -hmm. and you are responsible for you. Especially what is it that I'm doing? Like, why does it always escalate into this huge ordeal? Like, I don't get it. You can't fix her. I can't fix her. No. I can only do me, and my mom will only do her. So we have to figure out a way to understand each other better, listen better, and, and compromise. And I'm, I'm willing to do that. I'm not perfect, right. you know? Mm -hmm. And so I know that I have things I need to work on, and I will work on those things. But I just find myself walking on eggshells yeah. in conversation with her, because I don't know when it's going to That doesn't take. feel comfortable. No, I'm not comfortable at all. Mm -hmm. because just what I'm trying to avoid is what ends up happening. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. You really have to listen to yourself because that's how you be healthy. I don't care what mothers and daughters go through. They're going to work it out. I don't take sides. I just try to keep them from killing each other. <laughs> and I still have the issue with the fact that she really plays the favoritism thing, too, like yeah. heavy. That really disturbs me. I don't. It's just not fair to me. It's a double standard within the family, and it makes me feel like it's going to be a double standard within business. I agree with some of the favoritism stuff. Oh, you know, I, I, uh, yeah. I think that's the first time I've ever heard you directly say it. It is what Can it is. Can you tell me why? Because I don't understand why. But baby, let me tell you this. Only one thing I do know. I know how to love you. 
I can listen, but I can't fix it. You and Sonya are going to have to fix that. But even more than that, it begins with you. You are a wonderful daughter. I know that. She know that. Thank you, Dad. I respond one way, she respond another. But it's still true in my heart and in her heart. Trust me. You're strong, Brandy. I am. I am. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, it was good. We won. What's up, bro? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what up, boy? What up, big homie? You good? What up, bro? What's up, shiz? Uh, Raging Zell! Ooh, to the week. Bless. Today is my first day of recording with Rodney, finally. Like, I'm excited, I'm ready to go in and get this work done. It's long overdue, baby. Now I'm about to hear how long you been out there in them clubs. Man, I've been out there. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's a celebration, bye, bye, bye. I gotta understand that in every time my hands. Here we go. And every time my hands go up. And every time my hands. And every time my hands go up. Here we go. I get And every time my hands go up. Almost. Watch your timing on it. And every time my hands go up. And every time my hands go up. And every time my hands go up. One more time. Make it tight. We gotta get it. We on it. Let's go. And every time my hands go up. You look like you're in the gym right now. You sweating, drinking water. That's what it is. You working out right now, right? <laughs> Yo, I, listen, I know I'm a little rusty, but it's hot in here. And I know your, your vocal cords supposed to be warm, but damn. Just one more time, make it tight. Let me, yes, come, out, let me come out for a minute. Huh? Let me come out come for on, a minute. Come on, you got What, you got to take a break? I just got to come in there for a minute with you, man. For what? Just to come in there with you for two minutes Ray, and absorb. You're in it already. And I'm rusty today. I just need to, I just need to feel the, I just need See? to feel the other side of the studio. That's why we got to stay out them clubs, man. They smoking in them clubs, man. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Don't let come it get on, to you, I man. I promise I won't. Yo, What it look like? RJ, hold on. Let me explain something. What it look like? You, you know, you know how people go back in the gym and ain't been in there, you know, in a minute. Yo, your homie, look at him. Your homie is in there sweating, Why are you sweating? drinking water. <laughs> what's, what's good? I've been, I've been going hard. You been going I, made, hard? I made bars in. That's it? <laughs> Eight bars? Eight bars. You Eight know what I'm saying? Bars? I, told, I, told, I told shiz I'm a little rusty. Like, it's my first time singing at my highest tones and stuff. So I'm just a little rusty. That's all. It's natural. Natural. We gotta you know get it. We gotta get it right. Yeah, though, I'm right? ready to work though. And then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we, we gonna get the rust off. And then I'm gonna be on, on crazy. Yeah, cause the rust can't just... be there for the leads, son. Huh? Yeah, yeah, No yeah, rust yeah. on them leads, son. No doubt. No doubt. All right, I gotta go. I'm, I gotta go make this call to Rifkin real quick. All right, cool. Rodney wasn't impressed. I don't want to blow this deal. I don't want to blow this album. Rodney, I can see it in his eyes. He wasn't feeling it. Coming up. So my good friends come over. It's really good to have them around, especially after a rough couple of days. You know, my mom's always worked out of her office, but now it's like, since it's like family business. You may have to decide if you I just want the, the mom relationship. relationship, or do you want the manager relationship? Because clearly, the relationship is too much. Ray, where are all of the cups? You hide them in between chairs and everything. Because you drink your coffee, you don't pay attention to picking them up and bringing the cups back. I drink weird places. You do. I'm going to use a soup cup. Yeah. This has been one heck of a day. I am feeling so confused right now. It's been, it was rough today, you know? I just feel like I was beat up everywhere. And I've been doing a, a lot of thinking about the whole management situation and would you not agree that a good, the good portion of my life has been spent focusing on Brandy and Ray? Would you say I that? I agree with that. Would you not say that a good portion of my life I've dedicated to them? I would say that, too. OK. And would you say that I have stepped in the middle of a lot of situations that I shouldn't have? I agree with that, too. You agree with that, too. Mm -hmm. OK. And because I've been the manager, coupled with, you know, the whole mother-daughter dynamics, 
I paid a heavy price for that. Yeah. And the price that I paid for that was to protect my daughter. Mm -hmm. Only for us to lose something that we could have had differently if I hadn't been our manager. I love my children more than anything, but it does come with sacrifices when you work with them. There have been many times that I've regretted making this decision of becoming brand's manager and Ray's manager. Well, Brandy has a real, real problem with you showing partiality to Ray J in the situations where you get really, really angry. I didn't, get, what you mean? I didn't show no partiality to Ray? You always show partiality. You think? I know. So you think I show favoritism toward Ray than Brandy? In a situation where Ray J is involved, mm -hmm. Ray J is always the victim when it comes to you. He's not the victim in this situation. In any situation. That's how you He's make, not the victim. That's how you make sense of everything when it comes to Ray J. When it comes to Brandy, she is not the victim. She is the aggressor. But when it comes to Ray J, he's always a victim. Okay, I'll give you that. Because when Ray J approaches me about something, he takes a different road about it. He doesn't come to me when I'm angry. No, I'm not talking no, about no, that. That's, but that. No, but, that, but that's no, what you're talking about. No, no, you said that he's no, the I'm victim. Not, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not saying that. When Ray J talks to you about something, you handle it differently too. Now, Ray J talks to me the same way he talked to you. That's right. And Brandy talks to me the way she wants to talk to you. Is that right? Right. She talks to you? The way she wants to talk to you. Really? Yeah. I gotta go and assess that. Sometimes I wish things could be a lot better and not so hard between Brandy and I. I do believe that something has to change. You've told me before that I need to let them move on and do certain things. So here's right. what I've decided to do. All right. I don't step away totally, mm -hmm. but I'm not easily accessible either. I will always be mom. I will always do that. But I want to free me from that. That means don't depend on me so much. I think it's a good decision that you're making. I just hope you can stick to it. Sonia's taking this thing with Brandy very hard, but I think she needs to step back, and she'd be healthier if she did. I'm taking my freedom. Well, you take I'm going to use freedom. my freedom. Well, you go. Then. I'm not going to be changed. I'm going to remind you of that. It's about emptying. 